Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the introduction of control system. So in this session, we will discuss two things. One is the introduction. Another one is the basics. So two things will be covered. So here first we need to know first the definition. What is control system? So before discussing about the control system, first all of you know that what is the system? System means uh, simply our intention of the system is it will take some input and it will give the some output. So in the universe everything is the system simply. For example, we know that we have a motor. What is the motor? motor will take some input that is the electrical power and it will generate the output that is the mechanical power simply then another, another example of the system is generator generator is also same thing it will take the input the mechanical and it will give the output is the electrical both are the systems these two system will have different different application in this motor application that input is the electrical power and output is the mechanical power in the generator application input is the mechanical power here output is the electrical power these two are the systems but the difference between the system and control system we have a different scenario here look at here control system means we can get the desired output generally in case of the generator for example the generator will get a 10 watts of power this is a normal generator if it is a control system generator <coughs> our requirement is a 20 watts that means we are controlling this input we are controlling this output that means for example if you want a 10 watts of power we will give some mechanical power and but we not we need to increase this power to 20 watts and we need to work on the input of the supply also so normal system and the control system is the desired output the required output understand normal system is general output but control system is a desired output required output what is our required output that will be get by this control system we can tell the another definition that is we can change the system functioning as per our requirement we can change the system functioning also every system has a particular functions that function can be varied as per our requirement okay this is the difference between system and control system system is which will give simply an input and will give the output but the control system has will give desired output simply right here it is a just the definition here the control system is two types generally one is open loop control system another one is closed loop control system name itself the loop is look like a open open loop generally it is a open loop and this closed loop is name itself is control system is look like a closed loop simply right here we can directly tell that a system which has the input and the output with this is generally generalized open loop control system we can call it as the open loop control system this open loop control system is construction is like this that is it is a control system it will have the input and it will have the controller that means it will control the output by the controller will generate the control signal and the process will happen the output will be generated this is the process in the open loop control system this is the process in open loop control system so we will understand open loop and closed loop by example then you will clearly understand so here the closed loop control system is look like this 
in this closed loop control system it is also input and it will give to some system it will get the output but it has a path this is called the feedback path this path is called the feedback path so observe here this is look like a closed loop this is look like a closed loop that's why it is called closed loop control system understand closed loop control system and this input and the output will be connected at a point at a point this is called the mixer mixer and if there is a difference between this input signal and output signal this is called the error signal this is called the error signal this error will be modified and the input will be modified by that input modification we will get the desired output we will get the desired output so this process will be happen but here we are giving input and we will get the output and we will vary the simply simply just varying the input and output like that but here we are taking we are monitoring the output but there is no monitoring of the output here that's why it is the open loop control system the monitoring of the output is available here this is called the closed loop control system and we will in practically this is for theoretically in practically open loop control system in construction is like this it has a controller that means that will give that will control the signal and that will generate this control signal that control system is given applied to the some process and the output will be generated here for closed loop control system look like this we have a input and the controller and it will generate the control signal and the process will be happen and it will given to the output but this output will be measured by some measuring element and that will be given to the controller look at here there is no connection between the output and the controller here for open loop control system but here there is a connection between the output and the controller whenever the connection between the output and the controller is there automatically the control signal will be varied whenever the control signal is varied signal is varied automatically the process will be varied whenever the process is varied again the change in the output will be varied so that's why we will get our desired output here we will get the desired output here this feedback will change the desired output so we will take an example then you will clearly understand what is open loop control system and closed loop control system so we will take an example in this example in this example so for example generally we have a bike we will take an example of a bike always you know that we are starting from the home and we will reach the college we will reach the college and just by using the by using for example we are using some bike and using by this bike we will go to the college generally directly we will go to the college this is the open loop control system open loop control system but some of the factors will decide our journey because road will decide time will decide and which time we have to reach the college all the things will be decide this is generally directly we are using the bike and starting at the home we will reach the college but practical bike is like this what happen so we have a bike starts from home and it will it will go to the bike and we have a we have a whenever a bike going that bike will observe the speedometer in the bike we have the a speedometer measuring element speedometer by using the speedometer our mind will work our mind will observe this speedometer and by using that speedometer 
we will decide how acceleration by that acceleration bike will be operated and we will reach the college understand generally we have a bike bike with a particular 50 speed we don't know we don't know timings everything this is the open loop system but closed loop system generally we are using the bike is a closed loop control system in that bike will going from home to college in that our, we will observe the speedometer the speedometer will observing by the mind mind will decide how much of speed we have to apply by using the acceleration for example in order to reach in time we will use 50 km per hour kilometer per hour speed then the speed will be applied on the bike here there is no control of the speed but the control of the speed is done by the our mind here our mind is the controller our mind is the controller but we are not using speedometer here there is no speedometer for the bike and we will not we will know we, we don't know we don't have any feedback of the bike but here we have the feedback of the bike this is the difference between open loop control system and closed loop control system i think all of you understand what is the difference between open loop control system and closed loop control system understand speed doesn't have speedometer is the open loop control system consisting of speedometer is the closed loop control system so this is the important of our control system I hope all of you enjoyed the session uh, what is the control system and what is the structure of control system open loop control system closed loop control system thank you